Rheumatoid Arthritis, RA. What is Rheumatoid Arthritis? Watch our video about what Rheumatoid Arthritis is. Rheumatoid Arthritis is a condition that can cause pain, swelling and stiffness in joints. It is what is known as an autoimmune condition. This means that the immune system, which is the body's natural self-defense system, gets confused and starts to attack your body's healthy tissues. In rheumatoid arthritis, the main way it does this is with inflammation in your joints. Rheumatoid arthritis affects around 400,000 adults aged 16 and over in the UK. It can affect anyone of any age. It can get worse quickly, so early diagnosis and intensive treatment are important. The sooner you start treatment, the more effective it's likely to be. To understand how rheumatoid arthritis develops, it helps to understand how a normal joint works. How does a normal joint work? A joint is where two bones meet. Most of our joints are designed to allow the bones to move in certain directions and within certain limits. For example, the knee is the largest joint in the body and one of the most complicated. It must be strong enough to take our weight and must lock into position, so we can stand upright. It also has to act as a hinge, so we can walk, and needs to twist and turn when we run or play sports. The end of each bone is covered with cartilage that has a very smooth, slippery surface. The cartilage allows the ends of the bones to move against each other, almost without rubbing. The joint is held in place by the synovium, which contains thick fluid to protect the bones and joint. The synovium has a tough outer layer that holds the joint in place and stops the bones moving too far. Strong cords called tendons anchor the muscles to the bones. What happens in a joint affected by rheumatoid arthritis? If you have rheumatoid arthritis, your immune system can cause inflammation inside a joint or a number of joints. Inflammation is normally an important part of how your immune system works. It allows the body to send extra fluid and blood to a part of the body under attack from an infection. For example, if you have a cut that gets infected, the skin around it can become swollen and a different color. However, in the case of rheumatoid arthritis, this inflammation in the joint is unnecessary and causes problems. When the inflammation goes down, the capsule around the synovium remains stretched and can't hold the joint in its proper position. This can cause the joint to become unstable and move into unusual positions. Symptoms The main symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis are Joint pain Joint swelling, warmth and redness Stiffness, especially first thing in the morning or after sitting still for a long time. Other symptoms can include Tiredness and lack of energy, this can be known as fatigue. A poor appetite, not feeling hungry. Weight loss. A high temperature, or a fever. Sweating. Dry eyes, as a result of inflammation. Chest pain, as a result of inflammation. Rheumatoid arthritis can affect any joint in the body, although it is often felt in the small joints in the hands and feet first. Both sides of the body are usually affected at the same time, in the same way, but this doesn't always happen. A few people develop fleshy lumps called rheumatoid nodules, which form under the skin around affected joints. They can sometimes be painful, but usually are not. Causes The following can play a part in why someone has rheumatoid arthritis. Age Rheumatoid arthritis affects adults of any age, although most people are diagnosed between the ages of 40 and 60. Genetics Rheumatoid arthritis develops because of a combination of genetic and environmental factors, such as smoking and diet. Weight If you are overweight, you have a significantly greater chance of developing rheumatoid arthritis than if you are a healthy weight. Smoking Cigarette smoking significantly increases the risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis diet. There is some evidence that if you eat a lot of red meat and don't consume much vitamin C, you may have an increased risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis. Diagnosis. 
A diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis is based on your symptoms, a physical examination and the results of x-rays, scans and blood tests. Your doctor will ask about your symptoms and do a physical examination. They will look for swollen joints and check how well your joints move. Rheumatoid arthritis can affect different parts of your body at once, so it's important to tell your doctor about all the symptoms you've had, even if they don't seem to be related. Blood Tests There's no single blood test that can confirm you have rheumatoid arthritis. However, there are a few tests that can show possible signs of the condition. Some of the main tests are outlined below. Erythrocyte Sedimentation Rate ESR. C-reactive protein, CRP. Full blood count. Rheumatoid factor and anti-CCP antibodies. Treatment. There are a variety of treatments available for rheumatoid arthritis. The earlier that intensive treatment is started, the more likely it is to work. There are three main ways to treat rheumatoid arthritis. Drugs. Painkillers. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs (NSAIDs), disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs (MARDs), steroids, also known as corticosteroids, physiotherapy. A physiotherapist can suggest suitable exercises for you and support you in keeping active. People with rheumatoid arthritis should have access to specialist physiotherapy to help manage their condition and improve their fitness, flexibility, and strength. You should also have follow-up reviews. Hydrotherapy You may also find that hydrotherapy helps to ease your symptoms. This involves doing special exercises in a warm water pool, under the supervision of a trained physiotherapist. Occupational Therapy Occupational therapists can help you keep doing the activities you need or want to do, at home or at work. Further Support if you are living with rheumatoid arthritis, you may also be living with one or more other conditions. Surgery Surgery is sometimes needed for those with rheumatoid arthritis. This can be to reduce pain, correct joint shape or restore your ability to use your joint. Diet and Nutrition There's no single diet that will help everyone with rheumatoid arthritis. However, some people find that making changes to their diet helps their symptoms. Supplements There is little evidence that taking supplements will improve rheumatoid arthritis, or its symptoms. However, some people think certain supplements work for them. What is important is that you are not wasting your money on expensive supplements that won't do anything for your condition. Some supplements may be prescribed by your specialist team or GP. A healthy, Balanced diet should contain all the vitamins and minerals you need. However, it's recommended that people should consider taking a daily supplement containing 10 micrograms of vitamin D in autumn and winter, as it is difficult to get the amount needed through sunlight at this time of year. Sleep Getting a good night's sleep can be tough, especially when you are living with the aches, pains and inflammation of rheumatoid arthritis.